morning guys, we are here bright and early and we are at the train station. Today we have two things planned, so we are heading to the weekend market, also known as... Um, Chatu Chuck <laughs> weekend <laughs> market. <laughs> and then we thought we'll check out the Khao San Road, the infamous road to see what it's all about. The first stop is the weekend market which we are really excited about, so let's go. Alright, so we are just purchasing our bus tickets from the vending machine and so far this is the first time we've used the train and it seems very relatively easy. So from what I can see, you just press English and then search for your stop. So going there, we've got two people, super straightforward and then you just insert the cash. So it is 30 baht and I'm not too well versed with the coins yet. Oh. Okay, and I, for a second I thought that it ate the money, but now we have two tokens and I believe we just uh, tap on to get on, so let's go. As we thought on the way out when you put your token back in it just takes it which is super super handy and so easy. So we have switched trains onto the BTS which is a different sort of system. You do get a card or you can get a pass for the whole day or I think or I believe a week. Um, so very straightforward as well. Very good signage, you just know where you're going and no issues. I mean I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, super affordable as well. I believe each ticket is 40 baht depending on where you're going. But yeah, that's relatively cheap and yeah, very clean. I reckon the transportation here, the train transportation is really clean. It's all accessible, like Kim said, and yeah, it's really good. All right, so we are at the market and it is so busy. It's so hot and humid. We just made it through the first section um, at the outer layer, I believe. I believe the market is humongous. I read online that it is the largest mar a weekend market in the world. Wow, incredible. I love it, the fact that it's a weekend market, so everyone has to come. Everyone's opening up shop and they're selling what they sell. But yeah, it's really busy like you mentioned. And let's try to find something today. I'm not sure what we're trying to find today, but we're just gonna have a look around, see if there's anything that is, you know, remotely interesting and we might purchase it. And then also try some street food as well. So we have stopped for some fried fish balls, which looks like a hit because there is a bit of a line. And there's two options, either soft or crispy, and I've opted for the crispy. And I put some sauce, which I'm not sure what it is. It looks a tad spicy, maybe sweet, and let's try. Scorching hot. Mm. Whoa. Mm. That reminds me of the, the fish cake. The popular fish cake, the Thai fish cake. Good. Mm. They didn't have Uniqlo as well. Or unique. It's pretty nifty. There is a lot of things in this market and honestly the world's largest weekend market and we can see why we are exhausted walking around. We are breaking a sweat. So we've only made it halfway through. So we've gone through the entrance and we thought it was just the um sorry the start of it, but it's the end of it. So there's two sections, I believe two rows, but the rows go forever and the two blocks that we walk through were so big, there were so many shops. So crowded and we've spotted this shop which we thought was quite fun. So there's a massage roller. <laughs> Gonna need one of these at the end of this. And there's a slingshot. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> It's so hot, so we decided to get a drink. And this one caught my eye. It's, it's Dang Hail Blue Boy. Looks like this. Strong color. Whoa. It just tastes like cordial. Red cordial. Tastes pretty good. 
Alright, so we ran into this shop and we saw some cool designs on these pockets. And I thought I'd get this one. So it's a little Chinese uh, Chinese cat, I believe. And I'm obviously wearing one on just to try it out. So it looks really nice. My purchase this one. So our first purchase. So it looks really cute. I believe it's got like a little um, Japanese or Chinese cat. Your lucky cat claw. And it's on the pick, uh, pocket. It's embroidered on the pocket and it's just a basic black tee. It looks really cool. It was 220 a butt. And yeah, really good purchase. Yeah, so a very interesting thing about the market is that there are a lot of uh, places that have prices, which is awesome. Makes it easy to shop if you're not really in the mood to bargain. And there are a number of stores which you do bargain and try your luck there. So it's very large and it is a little bit hard to bargain, honestly. It takes up a lot of your energy. So I think we might just buy and stick to things that already has the price. After all that walking and shopping and looking around, we had to get some food. So right here I got the samdam, which is the papaya salad with salted crumb. And then next to us we have the pad thai gai, which is the chicken pad thai. Ooh. I'm going to try the samdam first because my mouth is salivating. Ooh. So I can see, I believe there's the snake beans, the eggplants, tomatoes. Uh, what else is there? Crab, chili, and what's this? I'm not 100% sure what this is. It looks like mango, I believe. I'm not sure. But it obviously should be papaya. So let's try this. Oh. Oh. That's so spicy. No. Sweet, spicy, salty. Really good. Oh, that's really spicy. Yes, yeah, definitely papaya. Sorry, definitely papaya. That's really good. I'm gonna try the pad thai now. All right, I'm just gonna squeeze some lime on it and get that citrus in it. And let's try this. Of course, we had to try the pad thai because it is a known dish here. There's peanuts on there, there's the vermicelli kind of noodles, there's bean sprouts, tofu, chicken, a lot of chili. Wow. Let's try this. Oh, so fresh. So fresh off the walk. It's so hot. It's a little bit sweet in the egg, and then it makes it a little bit savory in the peanuts. Really good. Yeah. got these sausage so there are a few different types so I've opted for the one on the very far right I'm not entirely sure what the difference is but anyway it looks incredible so I'm gonna try it Whoa. Mm. lemongrass flavor it's a bit salty a little sour actually but I love the outside texture of it and the taste all together is really good there's also cabbage and some chilies. I'll try the chili on Jion's behalf. Not bad. Surprisingly not too spicy. Alright, so I can't let Kim have all the fun and I have to try this as well. Let's try this. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit hard because all three balls are stuck together. They're not, it's not a single bowl put together on a stick, are you right? I got that. Um, yeah. The skin is really crispy. Hmm. It's really stuck together. It's like almost like intestines where they use the skin. Mm. But it's really nice, glazed really nicely. Yeah, you're right. It's a little sour. Hmm. But I think that's for the cabbage. And I think sticky rice is for. Yeah. 
It's pretty good. Once you get over that skin texture, the inside is uh, tastes really great. Mm. How should I get? I'm gonna say left. This one? Yeah. Ooh, okay. I love how the sizing is F. Fixed price. I mean, big sizing. It's nice. Alright, guys, so that is enough shopping for now. We've spent a majority of the day here. We've walked up and down, in and out of alleys, and the uh, market as well. But yeah, what did we get today? So we got a few things. We got Dion's t-shirt, which we saw earlier. The cute cat one. That one was 220 baht. I got myself the plain, simple, basic sort of t-shirt, which I'm quite happy with. And you also saw that earlier where I picked the kind of light brown color and that was 100. Super affordable. Mm. Oh, I love it. We also got a magnet, a little tuk-tuk one. We had to get one for Thailand. You know us, we had to get one. And then also a t-shirt for Dion's nephew. It's a Thailand one, super, super cute, 100 so cute. baht. And we did bar uh, uh, bargain this one down. Super uh, lucky to end on that one. Mm. And the market has been incredible. We've noticed in Thailand overall that there is a lot of shopping, uh, there is a lot of opportunity for shopping. Very good prices. Even you can buy certain things that get custom made. So hats, bags, passport holders. It's very affordable. Um, and it's been incredible. Mm, a lot of embroidery, a lot of custom made items here, a lot of unique items as well. Nothing that you would see like in Vietnam. Um, all sorts of stuff, like cool fancy toys as well, a lot of food nonetheless. And yeah, really good things. Super fun. So we are going to take some rest and we will see you guys later tonight where we head to Khao San Road. All right, so I think we lied. So we're heading out of the market and we came across some more stuff, which is unbelievably cheap. So Kim got herself a hat and I got a matching colour shirt. Kind of matches, but okay. kind of not. Yeah. <laughs> but it looked but, really nice. Oh my gosh, so we spoke too soon, we ended the scene too soon. We were on the way out of the market and we had already been through the section but I guess things caught our eye and we were kind of like, oh we might not be able to come across these things again so let's just get it. And I mean yeah, now, now we're very energetic and yes. <laughs> Okay, okay. Alright, so from here to Khao San Road is 350 baht. On Grab and everything else, it's up to 400, so we're gonna go with this one. So this is Kim and I's first time on a tuk-tuk and this experience is actually a wild. It's nothing like you'd see in Vietnam, it's nothing like you'd see anywhere else. This is actually crazy. Yeah, this is a remarkable experience. I think it's really fun at night time just because the lights are a bit more, you know, fancy and because we're heading to Khao Sang Road, it just feels a little bit more wild, right? Yeah. <laughs> to what I guess I anticipated, what we anticipated, we were speaking about it earlier. Um, but it is nonetheless really interesting. There is a lot of tattoo places, a lot of, um, I guess, marijuana because it is uh, legal here. A lot of street food as well and a bunch of shopping, uh, a lot of people walking around selling these snacks as well as sort of uh, the fried insects. <laughs> Alright, so the good thing about this road is when you've done a lot of walking throughout the day, there's always a massage here. So Kim and I have opted for a foot massage just on the corner. We're adjacent from the um, Khao San Road. I'm not sure what road this is called. But yeah, there's food here, there's massages, tattoo shops like we mentioned earlier. But yeah, so right now we're just going to sit down for a massage. So we just finished the massages and I am more relaxed than I could be. I think I took a mini nap in there. <laughs> I was, I feel so light on my feet, not going to lie. My first massage here in Thailand, it was amazing, not gonna lie. It was the best massage, leg massage I've ever had. 
Yeah, foot massage, 30 minutes for 150 baht. You cannot complain, it is incredible after a long day of walking. Alright guys, as you guys can see, the later it gets, the more busy this place gets. Kaosan Road is busy right now, so what we might do is we might actually enjoy ourselves and uh, go have a couple of beers. So we're going to end the vlog here today guys. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Another vlog for Bangkok. And there is more to come, Bangkok and other cities around Thailand as well. If you like this video, please help to give us a thumbs up and like to, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah,